In this video, we're going to give an overview of the new K37 spectrum analysis option for the RTM 3000. So with this, what we have, um, well, first, let me explain the signal. I basically just have a frequency modulated signal, uh, which should give us some good content to look at the FFT with. And to turn, on, to turn on the FFT, you have a couple options. You can turn it on via the front panel button over here on the right hand side. You can also turn it on from up here at the top. I'm probably going to hit the button. So we'll go ahead and turn on the FFT. And the first thing that you'll notice is that it splits a display. So up top, we have the actual waveform itself. And so we can get a correlated view between the time domain and the frequency domain down below. You can, of course, change the size of those windows to um, whatever you want to focus in on. If you want them to be roughly the same, you can clearly do that as well. Um, the other thing that you may notice is right here at the top, we give you um, a number of different spectrum analysis type controls. And so you can come in and you can change the start frequency, the stop frequency, the center frequency, the span. Um, if you want, you can actually change the resolution bandwidth as well. Right now I have it set to auto. I'll show you how to change that here in a second. If you want to do a gated FFT, this is where you would change the gated FFT, where you're only going to look at a certain window in time and see the frequency domain of that. And this will tell you where in the time domain that gate is at at the time. You can see we actually have a gate running right now. We're looking at this section right here of the time domain. Down here at the bottom, you'll notice we have an FFT um, indicator. And so this shows us how much power we're looking at. Um, if I go ahead and click on that, you get a number of different options right off the bat. So right now we're looking at the spectrum. You can have a min hold, a max hold. You can look at the average. You can set it to full span. You can turn FFT off. And for me, I want to go into the actual FFT menu. And this is where we get a lot more capability. Um, so of course you can change your source and the FFT window. Um, with the FFT window, you have a number of different uh, traditional options from Hanning to Hamming to Black Men to Flat Top to Rectangle. Um, the next few, uh, let me run through. One of them is Spectrogram. So we can go ahead and turn on Spectrogram, and Spectrogram is going to give you a third view now, um, essentially laying the frequency out over time and how it changes. And again, you can adjust these windows. So if you want to see the Spectrogram larger, you can, of course, do that. Um, it gives you a lot of flexibility there in terms of how to view the frequency domain. If we go back into the FFT menu, you can, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off spectrogram. You can change this from automatic resolution bandwidth to manual, and then you would have the ability to type in the resolution bandwidth that you want within the confines of what the oscilloscope can do. Um, we can turn on peak list, which will allow us to find uh, the peaks and it'll automatically mark them for you. If I turn this on um, and then we go into, say, marker, uh, you can determine exactly how you want the peak list to be set up. Um, you can determine if you want markers shown. Um, we can come in and you can see that we now have a peak list down here at the bottom. Um, there's only one peak, but if you had a number of different peaks, a number of different harmonics, you could see the magnitude and frequency of those down here in the peak list itself. Um, if I go back then, uh, we'll turn peak list off. For display, you can of course change the way that things are shown. Um, the spectrum color, you can have it as a rainbow or temperature, um, or you can have it as monochrome. Um, you can change where the thresholds are, so how it's basically displayed um, within the, uh, the window itself. And then for the waveform, if we come down here, this is just the same options that we had before. Um, you can have multiple of these on. So let's say I go ahead and turn on max hold. Um, with max hold on, you'll see that it's going to start building up the max hold um, view. And we also still have the spectrum view on. I can turn the spectrum view off if I want, and we'll just have the max hold view. Um, you can turn those back on, etc. You have a lot of flexibility. You can average the trace. Um, again, you can do a number of different capabilities here. And then finally, um, of course, you can change the vertical scale. Um, right now I'm showing in DBM, uh, but you have a number of different options and how you might want it to read out on the vertical scale.